What's going on my dudes, One Step here today, helping you understand the best cameos for Ghostface in Mortal Kombat 1. Now I've laughed a ton with all the cameos for Ghostface, and these are my favorite ones. I do think they are the best. I am not gonna put them in order, because I think they're all the best in their own way. If like they offer a different combo extension, different utility that he benefits from, stuff like that. So subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat 1 content, and let's talk about the best cameo choices for Ghostface. I'm gonna make it quick and easy for you. My personal favorite, I, again, the top, three, four, best, whatever, is Movado. Movado just gives you so many ways to continue combos. You got one, two, three, and then Movado. Uh, combo from there, love that. We got back three, four, call Movado. Combo extension there. Both of those are lows, by the way. We have the command grab, so we can call Movado for the trap, get a command grab combo. That's awesome. The running down four, three, then press one. Uh, combo extension with the trap there as well. Uh, love that again. And that can make for some really crazy combo extensions like this. If you're the assassin ghost, which you got back to one, one. After this, we can call Movado like this. Easy combos. So Movado gives you command grab combo extensions, easy low conversions for combo extensions. Again, Movado is just a great choice overall, my opinion, but who else is the best? In the same vein, arguable is Scorpion. For the same exact reason, you can uh, you can combo off the lows here like this. You can combo off the four, two, one, two, call Scorpion. Back three, four, call Scorpion. They are a bit tighter on the timing compared to Movado's timing, but they are still possible. You also get command grab combos for half cameo bar rather than a full cameo bar that Movado does. We can just do the command grab. We can use uh, Scorpion to extend it. Very nice. Just do it again if that's the case. Just off the command grab using Scorpion, we can do quite some damage. It's pretty fun like this. Like this by itself, one bar, two cameos is 37%. That's pretty cool. And that's like just command grab, scorpion, command grab, scorpion, enhance the command grab. Plus you get great mix. Uh, Ghostface already has one, two, three for the lows. We got back three, four for a low. But our only real overhead is our back two. But scorpion gives you another overhead with his overhead, of course. So you can do one, two, and then forward cameo for the overhead. And that'll be great mix because usually you might go, you know, one, two, three for the low. You condition your opponent to block the low. Then you just go for the overhead instead. And that can make for some easy combo extension as well. You just do two, two, grab and then combo extend from there. So again, we got command grab combos, great combo extension, an overhead for mixed game. Scorpion is arguably one of the best as well. Guys, let's face it. Ghostface is literally just a dude with a knife, meaning he's not going to be in the air as much as Omni-Man, Homelander, Liu Kang, whatever. He's, he's a very grounded character in general. So what cameos are great for ground combo extension? That's right. I know you hate her, but Serena. So yeah, Serena's a great cameo choice for Ghostface for that reason. There's Look at this, man. I, I love what she can do here. Serena is great for ground combo extension. During the command grab, call her in for more damage for the new ruin she got. You got more damage and you get more super meter bar for all those hits. Or just call in her normal for to drain the opponent's bar during the command grab. What are they going to do? Their, their bar is getting drained during the entire time. Ghostface does not have a projectile, so having one with Serena is awesome. It's a great uh, check you tool, you know? Just has a great reversal tool as well that no one utilizes. An invulnerable reversal, projectile, ground combo extension, meter drain, meter gain. Uh, yeah, Serena is a great choice for Ghostface. Now, one that most people don't really consider that I found some great stuff with is Shijinko. He's kind of unorthodox. I get it, but hear me out. Without even charging Shijinko, so we don't even need the cameo bar. We got combo extender moves. Like forward cameo, up cameo. That is a stagger. That stagger allows us to do 2-2 two, two grab and continue the combo from there. That looks like this. You know, forward cameo, up cameo, dash, uh, do our combo from there. Easy money, dude. Look at this. Having those extra hits just allows us to get over that 30, 32% mark more consistently. And that's with no cameo bar. And it's relatively easy to charge Shijinko during combos because they're relatively long for ghost faces. You have the command grab. You got moves like this where you can just charge Shijinko during this. And by the time you're done, uh, Shijinko is mostly done charging. Do this, call Shijinko. Uh, you know, a full combo, right? 
and now Shijinko is done charging. So because of the grabs that Ghostface has, stuff like that, it's relatively easy to be able to charge Shijinko fully. But again, having that combo extended with Stagger is just is just too good, man. We got extra hits, uh, more combos, more damage. We also have an overhead for Mix as well. So we got back cameo, up cameo. That's an overhead where normally Ghostface really only has load. Why not go one, two, back cameo, up cameo for the overhead and just have that extra mix. So Shijinko gives you mix and just easy combo extension. And then once you learn how to master charging him and using your opponent's moves against themselves, Jinko is a phenomenal cameo in general. But I feel like Ghostface mains will have a really fun time using Shijinko. And it's gonna be really cool to see. I love him personally. Those are my favorite cameos to use with Ghostface. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of my choices? What are your choices? And why? Let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe here for more content, of course. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guides, reactions, and more.